You know who I be, they call me Snapside I play that Call of Duty, schooling all the newbies If you down to learn, then go and press play Cause I'm only down, aiming for that first place Yo, yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Slapside and I had to bring the intro back, the old school intro by your boy Mr. Slapside because one of my subscribers were like, hey man, I gotta hear it one more time, you know? I know it's a little old, it's a little cheesy, whatever it may be, but it's one of the intros that have a lot of memories, you know? Uh, a lot of people have helped me through this journey of uh, doing this YouTube thing. Uh, some of the people that really helped me that were big were um, a lot of people, some people from Machinima, I had a... Uh, Mark J, Green Goblin, Rock and Shop. A lot of uh, people helped me, man. It was uh, a fun journey doing it. I mean, I never, I never made it real big or anything, but I was able to make awareness, get my name out there. You know, my name is definitely out there. You know, as far as uh, just slapping people up. I'm just playing, y'all. But check this out. We get a drop shot, and uh, we're using the Thrive, the Thrive PPSH. I used all my Armory credits, and I went and picked that up at the Armory store. And man, this baby runs really good. I use it with Mountain, and I have ex I have the round drum extended mags, pretty much, with grip and advanced rifling to help me with the um, with with range. And overall, I really like the Thrive. But lately, I've been using the Heroic a lot. And you know, honestly, man, I really love using what do you call it? Um, I like using Airborne a lot. I like the way Airborne moves. But in this game. Everybody is using headsets. I always talk about that and you know when they use headsets You got to really stay off their um, you know, you don't really want to just make sounds You know, you know, you want to be real silent You want to be that silent assassin that just goes through the map and all that But this is crazy because I get like 15 kills holding the flag um, You guys should know if you play CTF if you hold the flag the enemy is gonna come gunning for you I, I kind of like it if they suck like these guys were pretty bad. I mean they're newbies see they're coming right at me They can't even touch me but it's crazy because when you have the flag, obviously, they know where you're at. And, you know, they're bringing everything at me, man. Look at that. They're throwing grenades. They got the shovels. They got all that good stuff. But you can see I, you know, backpedal and I just, you know, play my cards right. Got my boy J2Y right here pretty much backing me up, making sure they don't get on me, you know. But um, it's crazy, man. When you have the flag, you get a lot of points. But you're definitely letting the enemy know where you're at, you know, because, because you're always lit up on the radar with the flag. So um, right here, this is where they spawn, right at the docks. Then uh, I shuffle back. And they spawn up here, all the way up here by the um, base. If you go up here, yeah, that's why I'm kind of looking back there. You just go all the way back here and they'll spawn over here. And then once you take them all out, you go back to the London docks and you just keep, you know, shuffling back and forth with a CTF. You, there's mainly like three spawns, you know, see, they shuffle back and you can see they're at the docks again. And they know I'm here, but I, you know, I keep moving, making sure I'm real elusive and they can't catch on. But right here, I almost died, to be honest, but luckily, um, Someone takes him out. I think Dan takes him out. There you go. Dan takes him out right there. Uh, Dan's a sniper. The sniper boy. He has some good gameplays. Sniping up. So hopefully we could get some from him and share it with y'all. He's a good sniper. And uh, we all know the snipers are pretty crazy in this game, right? Like the ADS time is crazy. And you could just rush around sniping if you're, you know, a good quick scoper or whatever it may be. But um, this round is pretty much coming to an end. I think I go on like a 17 gun streak. And, you know, I just want to survive. You can see I'm 45 and 7 in pretty much, you know, the first round, I, I believe. Actually, no, this, this is the second round. We already played two rounds, but we extend the game going into um, the um, overtime. We extend it to overtime. That's one thing great about CTF. You could definitely drag the game out. And right here, you know, we're running the same setup. And this right here, I, di I didn't even know that was my boy because that guy's running mountain. I guess he's trying to take down the UAVs. And uh, luckily, I was able to get him. But right here, my boy puts a couple shots in him. Take that guy out real quick. Pick up this gun right here. I don't know what gun that is, but, um, you know, we're just doing our thing, man. I mean, look at this. Just really working the spawn. You know, this part of the map is a lot easier to spawn trap, as you can see. And right here, we get the drop shot for the win right there oh i could have died right there i, I feel like my last kill I, i'm always destined to die but we get the v2 big shout out to everybody that was in here big shout out to j2y artist unknown dan asian boy we had everyone pretty much rolling up in here doing our thing peace